hello everyone and welcome to today's video in this video i'll be showing you how i made this top let's get started starting with my front bodice pattern at the center front i'm marking seven inches downwards from the neckline and from that seven inches i'm marking 12 inches and extending my center front line downwards and towards the side at my side seam I'm going inwards half an inch and downwards half an inch and I'm going to connect that point also to the waistline. At the empire I'm going to mark half an inch on both dad's leg and connect that also to the waistline. And then connect that half an inch to the apex point. At the top of my radius, I'm marking half an inch on both sides and I'm going to use a curve ruler to connect those points from the apex. At my armhole at the shoulder point, I went in half an inch and I'm connecting that half an inch to the side seam. And then I'm going to mark from that point 1.5 inches and then I'm going to connect the empire line to the 7 inches at the center front. From the side seam I'm going downwards 1.5 inches, connect that to the empire and from that point I'm marking inwards 2.5 inches. And I'm going to connect that 2.5 inches to the shoulder point, the 1.5 we marked at the shoulder. I later went in to correct that line and make it um, join with the bust radius line. At my apex point, I'm marking upwards by 2 inches on both sides of my dart leg. And from my center front, I'm connecting that 7 inch at the center front line to the 2 inches at the bust point. Then I'm going to close up my dart to continue drawing in my style line. At the top of my um, shoulder line, I went downwards by a quarter of an inch. And then at my center front, I went inwards by half an inch. And I'm going to connect that to the empire line. So from the dart line, I marked one, it's one inch apart from each other. Now these lines will be... Um, this will be panels where I will be creating a boning channel. But it's not necessary to draw these lines in right now because later on, as I was drafting the pattern, I realized I have to slash um, to close the dot before I draw in my panel lines. So I did that later on in the video so you understand when you see that. Now at the center front line, I'm marking one quarter of my abdomen measurement. And here I also added um, the measurement for the dart there. And then I'm going to connect that point with my side seam. And here I'm just extending my dart leg downwards and drawing in my dart. Then from the center front, I'm marking 2.5 inches towards the side. And I'm going to connect that 2.5 inch to the side seam. 
So from the waistline of the side seam, it measures um, downwards by two inches and a quarter. Now at the back, I'm repeating the same contour process for the back. I went inwards half an inch and downwards half an inch, and I'm connecting that to the waistline. So here I'm taking the measurement for the front and making sure it connects with the back. And at the center front, I'm marking 7 inches from the waistline upwards, the center back, sorry. And I'm going to connect that point. And then extend my dart line upwards, which is 5, an inch, five inches from the shoulder. And I'm connecting that dart line to that point. So I'm repeating the same thing I did for the shoulder of the front, which is take half an inch from the armhole and then connect that to the side seam and 1.5 inch from the shoulder point to the back. I also took off quarter of an inch from the shoulder line. Then I extended the center back downwards by 2 inches. And here I'm marking 2 inches from the waistline and 2.5 inches from the top of the style line. So I'm going to be removing um, this panel out to make um, the modesty panel. And here I'm just placing one quarter of my um, abdomen measurement plus that, that. And I'm going to extend that line from the center back towards the side back. And then join the waistline to the hem. Here I'm just extending the hem so I can draw in my dart and know what to take out. So here I'm just making sure the side seams are matching and here it wasn't so I extended my back side seam. So once that's done, I can go ahead and cut out my panel. At the center front, I also took up took um, a cent the center front contour, which is three eighths of an inch on both sides of the apex line. So here I'm just cutting out my pattern pieces and labeling them. So I have my pattern one, two, three for the cups for the cups so I'm going ahead cut out my pieces and close my dots where it needs to be closed and removing the ones that needs to be removed here I'm also going to cut out my back pattern piece and cut out my modesty panel as well which will be on fold now this piece I later joined back to the back. It was a mistake cutting that out. So here I have my front um, piece, the under empire piece, and I'm just going ahead to cut out my dart from it. So I'm going to close the dart and correct my line at the under bust. And then correct my line also at the hemline of the top. And then I'm going to redraw my um, slash lines. So here I'm just putting in a notch at the waistline. And I'm going to label this panel pieces so when I cut them out, I know where they all go, join each other. So once that's done, I'm going to slash those lines and add my seam allowances. And then for my back piece as well, I'm going to be closing my dart at the back. And for my modesty panel, I'm going to be adding one inch, one to two inches on the side, just so it covers properly when I put it on. Now for my cup pieces where I closed the dart, I just went ahead to correct the line and cut those pieces out. 
and then this other piece that goes into the side front of the panel piece I made a mistake here I should have just made it one piece with the side front um, piece so if you're going to be doing this look please don't you don't need to cut that out so these are all my pattern pieces laid out and my seam allowance all added then once that's done we can go ahead and cut our pattern pieces and fabric and start sewing so here i've cut out all my pattern pieces and this is the piece i was saying i shouldn't have um, separated i should have just made it one piece so i'm going to start with that piece and i'm going to join that up for the main garment and the lining piece before i start sewing so now I'm joining all my panel pieces but I'm joining them wrong sides together so my raw edges will be on the right side of my fabric. I'm going to do that for the main garment and the lining piece as well and I'm also going to join the side back piece to the side front piece wrong sides together as well. Once that's done, I'm going to sew all of them together and repeat on my lining piece. But the lining piece, I'll be sewing right sides together, not wrong sides together like the main garments. So once that's done, I went ahead and trimmed my seam allowances and pressed my seam allowances open on both pieces. Now I'm going, I cut out a bias tape and I'm going to use that bias tape to close the raw edges of my on my um, front piece and then I'm going to insert my boning. Then I'm going to go ahead and work on the cups. So I'm just joining the cup pieces along the princess seam line or the apex line on both main garment and facing piece. And I'm going to take that to my machine and sew that down. Once that's done, this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to drape the um, pleated piece on the cup piece. So following the bust, the style line of the bust piece, I'm going to place a piece of um, satin fabric on it. At, and then I'm going to start pleating from the top. And I'm going to place my first pleat away from the seam allowance of that top cup. Or away from the raw edge of that top cup so my seam allowance is 5 8 of an inch so from the raw edge I'm making my first split 5 8 of an inch away from the raw edge and then the next split that follows is about has about half an inch in distance so the pleats are half an inch away from each other so I'm going to continue doing that all the way to the end of the cup for both cup pieces. So when I get to where um to the end and I'm running out of fabric what I do is I just cut out the rest of the fabric and I take a new piece and continue pleating then later on I can go in and sew that down so it doesn't um, come off so here I'm just going to cut off this much and then I'm going to continue with a new piece then later on I will go inward, when I'm done with the pleating, I'll go inwards and sew or tack that down on the inside so it doesn't fall apart. Then I'm going to continue my pleats all around. Here I just placed the second cup just so I'm sure that the pleats are falling in the same direction.
once that's done i'm going to unpin my um cup from the mannequin and then i'm going to cut along the shape of the bust and then i'm going to hand tack all my pleats in place once i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and finish the top edge of my cup piece so i'm joining the facing piece to the main garment right sides together along the top of my cup and i'm going to sew down the seam allowance and understitch it Once that's done, turn it over to the right side, give it a good press and then I'm going to pin both cups together and tack them down and tack that down. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and attach my cup piece to my main garment. So I'm pinning along the um pinning along my notches and along the bust cup line. You want to take your time doing this because it's a little tricky to work with this side of the top. So I'm going to pin that down and, and hand baste it first. Then I'm going to take that to my machine and sew both sides in. Once I'm done sewing that in, I'm going to turn it over to the right side. Take my lining piece and join my lining piece to my shoulder. Um, to the piece that goes over the shoulder and I'm going to pin right sides together and then continue pinning along the cup. So as you can see the right side of my lining piece is, face, is facing the facing piece of the cup. So I'm going to pin along that cup. If it's easier for you, work with one cup at a time. My machine couldn't sew this because of the bulk so I had to do all this by hand but if you're working with a heavy duty machine it should work perfectly fine so I'm going to sew along that cup piece from the shoulder and repeat the same thing on the other side so now we're going to go ahead and make our loops for the back so my loops are me measures about 3.5 inches and I'm placing the first loop away from the seam allowance and it's five inch um sorry it's about one inch apart so my loops are spread at one inch wide and the second or third loop starts from where the other one stops and it's spread at one inch wide so once that's done i went ahead basted that down and i added a boning channel to strengthen that area then I'm going to turn my pattern pieces, my main garment and my facing piece right sides together and I'm going to sew along the back armhole, pin along the back armhole down towards the, um, the underarm all the way to the front and I'm going to also pin along the center back also. So I'll take that to my machine and make one continuous stitch from the center back towards the shoulder point and along the arm dial also towards the front. Once that's done, I'm going to clip into my um, curved edges or curved corners and I'm going to trim that seam allowance down. Now because this um, armhole is too narrow for under stitching I'm going to trim close to one eighth of an inch so it lies flat when we turn that over then I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the right side and give it a good press because of how narrow it is I had to use my loop turner to turn that so once that's done go ahead turn it over and give it a good press then I tacked that um, boning to the lining piece, making it all one piece. Once that's done, I'm going to join the front and back at the shoulder seam. Now, this is not the professional way to finish it, but it was too narrow. Then to finish the hem of the top, I'm just using, I cut out a bias piece and I'm going to use that to finish the hem. 
So I placed the bias piece right sides together, sewed that down, trimmed off my seam allowance and I'm going to fold it once and fold it again, pin that down, take that to my machine and sew that as well. Now when you're doing this, make sure that your boning are not, is not in the way of your stitching line because it's going to cause your needles to break and possibly cause injury. So make sure your bones are away from the stitching line. Then I'm working on my modesty panel. So I'm going to sew around the three edges, leaving a small piece open so I can turn it over. Once that's done, this is what your top looks like. Go ahead and lace it up and this is what the final top looks like. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it or learned something from me please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching